to the women and the men who show up every day to move millions of people. Your safety is our priority. That's Acting Federal Transit Administrator Veronica Vanderpool at the Metro Northside Transit Center Tuesday, announcing a new rule aimed at reducing attacks on drivers nationwide. Federal statistics show attacks on drivers increased 120 percent between 2013 and 2023 across the country. This video is from attack on a bus driver in Cleveland. Metro previously had one of the lowest rates of driver assaults in the country until last year when four drivers were assaulted, including three in one day in July. Bus Driver Union President Frank Harper says one of those drivers has undergone several surgeries and may lose the sight in one eye and therefore his livelihood. You got people nowadays that they're just not um, nice anymore and people are overreacting to a whole lot of situations. So none of the stuff of hot coffee, urine, spit, punches, stabs, even shootings, things like that happen almost every day. The new rule requires agencies to create safety committees, including management and worker representatives, including unions. Metro already has such a committee in place. New initiatives include training drivers on de-escalation techniques and making buses more secure. 30 percent of Metro buses already include safety barriers planned for the entire fleet. It was very encouraging to hear the strong partnership between the local and the leadership, and that is the kind of model that we want to uh, amplify and highlight as part of the safety committees and as part of the, the new changes under this new regulation. On the road with Metro, this is James Pilcher. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.